I like to eat people that night. It feels right. It's so polite. It's nice. Yes, I'd like to strike them in the back like that. So, yeah, you lip sync and dash. Bring it into motion builder. Yeah, you build your character in Daz, you then you you lip sync it and make sure you type in the words. You type in the words and the text and whatever, type the lyrics or whatever you're doing. And no periods, no commas and just you know, text it in there, have your audio file ready and then you analyze it. Then you export it, you know, and then you save it to where you want to go, and that's what you do. All right, um, first thing you want to do, you want to open Daz Studio. I got a, uh, if you want to do lip syncing, really good lip syncing for your Genesis character, make sure you open the, the Daz 32-bit version. Because um, the Daz 64-bit version doesn't come with lip sync. Now I got Daz Studio open. Next thing you want to do, um, you want to set up your scene. Okay, now I'm about to uh, get the uh, lip sync. Do the lip sync now. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and get this lip sync as good as I possibly can get because Mimic uh, is not available for um, Daz unless you use it through Daz like this. Record my voice so I need to make an, an away file real quick so here's what I'm about to do. I like to eat people at night. It feels right. It's so polite. It's nice. Yes. I'd like to strike them in the back like that. I'm gonna load me a sound. Okay, and check out the details. I'm gonna type in some text. Uh, the rap says, I like to eat people at night. Okay. Configuration file. Genesis. Yes. All right. Now we go and analyze the footage. Okay. Let's open the timeline and see how it looks. Oh, open timeline. There we go. Let's check this out. All right. Now, if I want to make it more sinister, I have to manually uh, uh, adjust the the parameters in his face with um. Let's see here. Pose control head, um, like I'm gonna do that there. Let me go into the expressions. Let me go anger. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Let's turn this down. All right, so you got the idea. Now that you're done with that. You're going to export this as an FBX file, so you can bring it into Motion Builder. So, what, whatever you have loaded up in there, just click on the rules, and click on that, and click Export. All right, there we go. Accept. Accept. Now it's exporting. Okay. Now, you're done with DAS and lip syncing. Okay, now you got Motion Builder loaded up. You want to open that that Maniac file that you. Well, there's no audio file in it, but you can work out that. It's got everything. It's got my. Uh, it's got the properties. It's got all of the. Um, 
it's got all of the blend shapes in there well, you, what you could have did you you could just animate you could animate this whole character in Daz bring it into motion builder just like you did with the lip sync you could do the whole so that's what I usually do I just do it I go from Daz to motion builder and then I just bring it into Maya light my scene up load all the maps and transparencies and just kind of fix all of that later Oh, before you do all of that, you need to make a new uh, copy of the data from the... Yeah, 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 that's what I want to do. First, I need to characterize... This, this is how I do it all the time. Because Daz has a different bone naming system. All I gotta do is just go. Um, I just click that, and I drag and let me display the X-ray. Now I got all my character. I got all the required bones set up, and it only took me two minutes. We'll do it that way. Anyway, so you're done, right? Go into press characterize. I'm gonna make this as a biped now and I'm gonna create a rig I'll call it FBX I guess FBX and IK now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make a new take this time on this take I don't want the bones on there I mean I don't want the animation on there see if the lips are not moving as you can see I'm gonna take this x-ray off yeah the lips aren't moving because it's on a different take uh, well, now that you got your blend shapes in there too, you can um, you can over pronounce the. He says polite. If if you know where it is, um, you go in there, you go in your parameters there, and you you, you fix you touch the sc the skin. Uh, I also recommend you make a you make an animation layer make a new animation layer and I'm gonna title this um, pronounced um, so what I was gonna do was I, I was gonna just have you uh, like manually manually um, you know, uh, just go through the full names and just kind of scrub through the scrub through the full names and just say, oh, well, he didn't say P right there. Let me make the P a little stronger. And just um, you go through here and just say, oh yeah, I want I want to do that and or anyway that's what you want to do um what I was going to show you was um, you go into your F curves yeah you go into your F curves you select the one that needs the main animation you select all of that and you just bring it up to make it now now the words are more pronounced I think let's try it out let's see how it sounds I'm going to render this render this now got my file uh, it's going to start at frame zero and it's going to stop at frame all I need to do now is just change his voice Make him sound like a monster. Well, good luck to you, dude. Uh, this is how the final result. Uh, this is what I got. Peace.